Hello and welcome. This is your Funky Onky. Well, let's play Fallout 3, Episode 15, Part 8. In this one, we're going to actually do some real trading. Hey. Yes. What do you require? I require you give me random crap. In the words of Elder Theus, give me a that. Well give me those. Is a brother keeping oh, to his duty. Sure. Give me the junk. I guess I'll sell it. All that. All three of those. Yeah, I'll hold on to that. Sell that. I know I'm over encumbered, but that's okay, because I'm going to be trading here shortly. Alright. Let's go. Leap. I shall. Hi. What? Let's trade. Here. Yeah, I want my caps back. So, big book of science. Three more cartons of cigarettes. Uh, drinking glass, cue ball. Let's keep ducking cover. The electron, need to give the electron charge packs. 18 frag mines. Yeah, I'm fully repaired. Three guns and bullets. They're 100% at uh, small guns. Keep the leather belt, keep the medical brace. Yeah, da, yeah, da, da. 23 missiles. Do you have anything else I want? Not really. Yeah, the hell. Take your five, five, six rounds and your uh, microfusion cells. Might as well. So I still got more shit to sell. Three packs of cigarettes. Two plasma mines. Four pre-war monies. Uh, that many purified waters. And... I got a 250 stem packs, Jesus. Alright, that'll do. Later. Another satisfied customer. So, tell me about Alistair Tenpenny. He owns this building. We get our caps from him. And don't you forget it. Mmm. What's it like living here at Tenpenny? Tenpenny is always on time with the money, and we get very comfortable digs with side benefits. Side benefits, huh? Uh, okay, I have to go now. Don't do anything stupid. And you're a prick. Hi. Hey, I'm off duty. Come back when, uh, what the hell? Let's just get it over with. I'm Dr. Banfield. What do you need? What's it like living at Tenpenny Tower? People are healthy here. They eat well and have a strong roof over their head. Hmm. Must be nice having patients who can pay their medical bills, huh? I'm not sure what you're trying to imply, but it's no crime to be paid for doing work. Tenpenny charges me rent too, you know. Hmm. In a perfect world, health care would be free. But since you've traveled through the wastes out there, you know it's not a perfect world, is it? Not hardly. Take those ghouls out there. Tenpenny won't let them live here. Sure, it's a little sad, but that decision is keeping people in here safe and sound. Sure, they look a little weird, but they're not disease vermin. Well, uh, I guess I must confess, I've never examined a ghoul up close. You're right. I shouldn't make assumptions. Good. So, tell me about Alistair Tenpenny. He's the landlord, although you hardly ever see him. I had to treat him once for bed sores, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Wait! Don't tell him I said that. <laughs> of course not, of course not. Uh, know much about those ghouls? My current theory is that the destructive disease of the ghoul condition will always eventually render him little more than a mindless killer. Um, I disagree. The proverbial wasteland zombie with a predilection for raw human flesh. They can't be cured. And there's nothing to alleviate the symptoms. All in all, it seems rather sad, really. I don't suppose you've consulted any ghouls on your little theory? Well, not exactly. But my colleagues have published papers. I suppose someone ought to verify their findings. Perhaps I'll do that. Who knows? I might even finally get published. 
Well, for that to happen, I gotta let ghouls in. So, let's head straight to the top, to Mr. Alistair Tenpenny himself. And see if we can't convince him to uh, let allow the ghouls to come in. I hate Muzak. What the? Uh, Mr. Tenpenny isn't taking callers. I'm here to see Sen. I'm here to see Tenpenny, but if you weren't so incompetent, you'd know that. Hold on there a minute. Oh, all right, I'll let you in, but if Tenpenny hollers because he isn't expecting you, you're dead. Sure, threaten the guy wearing power armor. Real fucking smart there. Thank you. Hey, what's up? Hello, hello. I can't stop to chat just now. Sure you can. Hi. Fancy that. A visitor. I seldom get visitors, which is a tiresome shame, because I'm usually relentlessly bored out of my right mind. And you should talk to your security All guards. All of these confounded people fluster about like I'm made of eggshells and about to fall to pieces in any moment. I'm surprised they even let you in. It took a little... So, what work. do you think of my fine tower here? It's quite the jewel of the wasteland, isn't it? I dare say I'm quite proud of it myself. Yeah, I'm going to be on his good side. Good side. Indeed, I'm extremely impressed. Right, oh, when I saw this place jutting up out of the horizon, I knew what I had to do. I hired some muscle, and we got this place fixed up right quick. I had the great fortune to run into Mr. Burke, an absolute <laughs> gem of a man. We he haven't seen him in a long time. What needs to get God, that was all the way back in wasn't. episode two that I shot him. Then in the it was face. a matter of getting the right type of tenants with the right type of assets, and the rest is, as they say, history. Uh -huh. Tell me about yourself, Mr. Tenpenny. Oh, it's impolite for a gentleman to talk about himself, but I'd hope this magnificent tower would speak volumes. Uh -huh. Yeah, it is quite the tower. Some might say Tenpenny Tower is my crowning achievement, but no, 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 my dear boy, it is just the beginning. Well, I have to go now. Righto, run along now. I suppose I have to go and talk with um, the ghouls who are trying to get in, which we have to get in through Warrington Trade Yard to find them. So let's go ahead and do that. Remember when we first came here, how you had that one ghoul like trying to get in and yelling and stuff? Well, this is how you find him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure, whatever. Do two just in case you miss. And I got two for you as well. And you walked right into my line of fire again! I already clear this place out anyways. Oh well, whatever. Let's head inside. Oh, we got, don't have a whole lot of time left, so let's just uh, explore this place a bit. There, there's a little bit of decent crap here. Like over here, we got some railway spikes. Rat away, which I'm gonna be needing. Rad X Stimpak. Hey, I got something for you. There is a foul I got a bunch of ammo for you now that I think about it. A straight equipment. In the words of Elder Theus, five mil a rounds. Well equipped. Over a magazine's a worth this time. His duty. Um, electron charge packs. And oh yeah, railway spikes. And here you can have all my ten mil ammo, thirty-two ammo too, I guess. Just. Just in case. All right, let's go. Lead the way. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're about to get railway rifled to death. Uh, can I get in here? I can, but there's no point. Okay, fine. I'll do it. Here. Okay, 
Yeah. First aid box, a sniper rifle I really don't need. Some 308 rounds that are always handy. More railway spikes. Rad X right away. And that's it. All right, this has been Vigilance your Funky Hulky with the Let's Play Fallout 3. In the words of Elder Theus, Stay a tuned for part well nine. Is a brother keeping to his duty. And I hope that you will see me next time. Lead the way. I always do.